Dad? Are you there? Dad? Are you here? Wow, look at this boat. It's not a beautiful. It's all natural wood. Well, look at that. It's 1944. Mahogany. And look at those ribs. It's an oak ribs. This boat could go anywhere you want. Oh my god, look at those windows. She is uh, so beautiful. And right here, you see, we can make galley where we can fit all family, get together to share news and dine. And here, I can make playroom for you where you're going to study and relax. When you bought this tub, did you think about food on the table? Did you think about mortgage payments? You spent all our savings without talking to me first. Right. This boat is our home. Just imagine, we could travel anywhere we want. We can make playroom for kids and our bedroom. Same thing. 
This is that. Take this. It's from all the guys. Buy something nice for Eve. Well, Mark, I don't need this. I'm okay. You need it. Come on, I'm okay. Did you talk to your wife about trip uh, around the world? No. Just oh. use the money, help yourself. Okay, help you. Thanks, man. Thank you. I'm gonna buy some teak for my boat. Now, here, we can make some space for you. And there, we can set some table where you're going to study and relax. So, we are family. This is our house, right?
Whoop. Okay, hold it. Yeah, man, what are you up to? Just working on my boat, man. What are you up to? Oh, you know, not much, man. I'm over and see Vic and see what he's doing. Oh, yeah? You working on... Vic! You start to work on that stern yet? You'll never get that. Yeah, you're gonna have to pay attention to those holes, man. Fix those holes. Think, think about your boat. Yeah, the motor... You gotta, you gotta do all those things. You can't look at the inside all the time. You gotta pay attention to the outside. Once you're in the water, then go ahead and pay attention to the inside, man. You're just spending money for nothing. That's all you're doing. This boat never gonna think. She gonna live. She's gonna live another hundred years. Your boat gonna think. So you have to think about your problem. Don't worry about this baby. And don't listen to him. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Yeah. Is it true? What's true? Well, that this boat will never sail. Nonsense. Of course. She will. And very soon. Down, please. Here, Dad, let me introduce you. This is my boyfriend. His name is Edward. <clears throat> I'll have dinner today with Eddie. I'll be late, so don't wait for me. Just go to bed. Excuse us, Edward. Listen, Eva, isn't he a little too... Are you saying he's too old for me, Dad? You know, he's a confident guy and he knows what he wants. Unlike the young guys who only want to get into my pants. I gotta go, Dad. Bye. Oh, come on. Why don't you like it? Eddie agreed to put your boat in our backyard for free. And I can always keep an eye on you, too. This is a great idea. Not mine. This is our boat, dear. We don't need the house. This is our home. Very soon, we will go on a journey together, and we can live wherever we want. Of course, Dad. Just stay on this boat, close to me. It's easier on me this way. I beg you.
Dad? Are you okay? You look somewhat tired. Yes, I'm tired. You know, dear, this boat will never sail. I know, Dad. And how long have you known this? For a while. Do you remember her? She was my favorite doll. Even though I never liked her, it was my only toy. She replaced my mother, neighbors, friends, classmates who stayed here for a sleepover. Over time, she became a part of me. Maybe this boat is a part of you, Dad. So I'm a part of this boat. All my life, I'm working for something. Not noticing anything else, because I only saw beautiful lines. And I have noticed that this boat has rotted away. Dad. I love it too. Have a rest now. So what are you going to do with her now? Let's push her out and let her go. She will adjusting? I know. <laughs> <laughs> 